Hey guys, my name is Michelle and I post hair, makeup and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Today I have gone for this very summery eye look with rhinestones. So if you want to see how I did this makeup, then keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to moisturize my face with the Biotic Night Cream. Then I'm going to take an angled brush and some brow pomade and fill in my brows. Next, I'm gonna take the LA Girl in Creamy Beige and prime my eyes. Today, I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. This palette has 35 colors and I'm going to use the lemony green color. I'm going to take my pack 201 brush, which is just a small detail brush. I'm going to apply this color to the inner part of my eyelid. I'm not focusing on blending right now, I'm just placing the color. Next, I'm going to take the yellow shade from the palette with the same brush and place that color right next to the lemony green color. As you can see, the pigmentation is not that great, but it's fine. This is not a high-end eyeshadow palette, so You shouldn't expect crazy pigmentation, but it does the job. Next, I'm just going to blend the two colors together as seamlessly as possible. Now what I'm also going to do is, I'm going to take the Pack 204 brush and I'm going to start building the crease with the same color. So I start with the lemony green shade first. I use it to blend between the two as well. I'm going to keep on packing the color till I build it up to the way I want it to look like. Of course, they're much more brighter in person. I don't think the camera picks it up that well. With the right amount of layering, this is what it's going to look like. Now I'm just going to blend it out. If you blend really hard, you're going to lose a lot of that pigment. So be very delicate at this step. The next thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in with this pink shade. I'm going to go with the 201 brush. And I'm going to place this on the outer edge of my eye. 
When the pink meets the yellow, I'll get a nice orange. But the first thing that I'm doing is I'm just applying the color and laying it down where I want it to be. And then after that, I'll go up, go back and blend. Now that I've placed the color where I want it to go, I'm just going to blend. As you can see where the pink meets the yellow, I'm getting this nice orange color. I'm going to go back in with the yellow once more with the 204 again and just intensify the crease area. I'm going to carry it a little higher so that I get that beautiful blended crease going. I'm going to use all of the real estate that I have on my eyelid so that it looks nice and blown out and really big. I like the way that's blending. Now one last time, I'm going to go in with the lemony green shade and I'm going to re-intensify. Hopefully this is picking up on camera. It looks really nice. It's lemony green, going into yellow, then going into an orange and then a pink. Okay, so I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other eye. As and when I feel like I'm losing any intensity or any pigment, I'm just gonna go back with this brush, the 201, and I'm gonna go in with the 204. I keep using these two brushes uh, this to apply, uh, this to blend, apply, blend, apply, blend. That is exactly what I'm doing. So I have some yellow on my brush and I'm just going to make sure that both of the creases look even. I'm gonna go back with each shade and intensify everything. The look is so blended that you don't really need a lot of brushes for it. Okay, so now everything looks as blended as possible and I'm just going to use the Essence Eyeliner. And I'm going to just line my eyes to cover the lashes, to hide the lashes. I'm not pulling or tugging my lashes, I'm just holding on to it so that I keep them in place. I'm just going to give that a second to dry. Next I'm going to go in with the Essence Super Curl Volume Mascara. I really like the brush of this. It's a very good cruelty free dupe of the Benefit Roller Lash. This mascara is so curling, separating and lengthening that I really like it. It doesn't give me too much volume. I won't say that this is the mascara that gives me the most volume unless I use three, four coats of it, then it looks absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, one coat is fine. 
Now next I'm going to go in with the Bella Lashes from New Bound Sun. I'm going to use the back lash glue. I really like this glue because it has a brush applicator. It's very easy to apply. I'm just going to wait for 30 seconds for this to get nice and tacky. The color will change. It's white now. It will become translucent. That is when I know it's ready to be applied. Now these are the Bella 3D Mink Lashes. They're for mink. This is cruelty free. Okay, so I'm just going to take the mascara and blend the lashes with my own. Now that that's done, I'm going to start with my base. Okay, so next I'm just going to take some rhinestones. These are just some basic ass rhinestones that you use on your nails. I'm going to use the back lash glue. And I'm just going to... That looks pretty, really pretty. Okay, so the reason why I avoided doing my under eyes for so long, I don't know. I don't know why I did that so very quickly. Have you ever forgotten your under eye completely and just neglected it and walked out the, the door? That's something that's happened to me so many times. Okay, so I'm just taking that small brush. This is the 201 by Pack, one of my favorite brushes. I love their tiny little detail brushes. That's good. I don't want to disperse it too much. That's good enough. Staying in with the pink. And I'm going to be pretty precise with this because I don't want it to be too blown out. What I could do is just apply some yellow under the pink so that the pink looks like it's continuous and links up with that. Again, taking some of the pink. It's really difficult for me to do my makeup like this because I don't have any mirrors here. My mirror is way down here. Maybe I need to buy a new mirror. Lockdown. Anyway, yeah, so I have done my under eyes. I'll wear mascara last because it makes no sense to uh, do your mascara and then put on a rising stone. So yeah, I'm just going to take a dot. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Don't worry if you put it on the wrong place. This dries clear, so doesn't matter. That's good. There we go. I have a little glue here, but that should dry.
Okay, now that's that's done. I can finally go in with my mascara on my lower lash line. I don't apply too much mascara on my lower lash lines because my lower lash line, lash line, lashes, sorry, my lower lashes are really long and I don't like them looking all spidery. I think I have some depth perception with this eye. Every time I go to wear mascara, I'm always getting some of it here. Anyway, whenever that happens, I don't panic. I just wait for it to dry completely. I take a spoolie and I just flick it off as easy as that. It's not a big deal. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for that to dry nicely. For lips, I'm using the Bella Voste Lip Liner in the shade. Shade number 011, that is 011. And for lipstick, I'm gonna use the Nykaa's lipstick in 01 Bombay. So yeah, I've just lined with this lip liner. It's not the best lip liner in the world, but I like Bella Waste because they're thinking about their consumers and not pricing their, their lipsticks and lip liners like really crazy and really high because I don't think the everyday consumer is going to be spending a thousand or two thousand rupees on a lip liner. It's just ludicrous. So yeah, they're pretty inexpensive, they do the job. Are they the most creamy lip liners in the world? No, but you know what, it does the job. And whenever I use lip liner, I'm looking for it to be really long wearing. So I just coat my entire lips with it so that even if the lipstick comes off, the lip liner is still on. This is something that I really like when I'm wearing the Miss Claire lip liner. Even if my lipstick goes off or whatever and you know like uh, the entire day is over that that uh, Miss Claire lip liner is still on your lips giving you some color. Which is why I also like MLBB shades because even if it fades away from your mouth you still you know you still your, your lips are pretty much similar to it in color doesn't look all that bad. I've been in situations where I've used dark ass lipstick and it's all faded and I'm left with these weird stained lips. There's never a good look. Can you see how pretty that highlighter is? Although I haven't applied it like a mad person. It's just so pretty. Don't get me wrong that the soap highlighters have the potential to look ridiculously blinding as well. Okay. Bombay and Nykaa love it. I love the fact that they give you these small little um, tubes. I have so many lipsticks that I've bought and hated, bought online, hated and just had to give them away because I didn't like the color. These are 200 and something if I'm not wrong. So you don't feel as bad if you don't like the color. And I think Bombay is a really nice shade. I think it's a shade that everyone can wear. I'm done with that and the mascaras had a time to, had a chance to dry so I'm just gonna take a spoolie. And like a boss, I'm just gonna flick all of that away. Done and done, problem solved. And as far as the sweat as well. Why do I feel like this look needs more rhinestones? More, maybe like three or four going up that way. Okay, I'm being ridiculous, this is good enough. Yeah, I really like it. Maybe one here. Some going down here, some going up here. Okay, I'm being crazy. This is too much. Okay, this is what the eyes look like. I'm not gonna go overboard with my eyebrows because trust me, I'm very blessed in the eyebrow department and I've put on a lot of pomade and the camera just doesn't pick up very easily. If I wear more pomade, then 
I will not be able to stand to look at myself in the mirror. So for my sanity, hopefully this is good. I mean, trust me, I've painted it on, it on really, really heavy, but for some reason it doesn't show in the camera. The camera just won't pick up. The eyes are so intense up front. But yeah, the camera won't pick up. Okay, last step. I'll just set my face. So this is what the face looks like. The last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use some setting spray and I generally use this. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter, a tried and true, a cult favorite at this point for good reason. If you guys know about a really nice setting spray that doesn't break the bank that I can use on a daily basis, please let me know. Okay, there's nothing that I can do about the hair. This is day three hair. It is dying and crying for a refresh. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Okay. <laughs> so, this is the finished look. Let's not judge the hair because this is day three hair. Okay. So, if you like this video and you gain some value from it, please don't forget to subscribe to me. Uh, press the little notification bell thingy so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Yeah. Um, like the video, please comment, share with your friends. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.